sound mapping is basically enabling us to change all of these note heads into different percussion symbols and also transpose on the stave if necessary. Now, I'm no drum player or percussionist, I'm afraid, so I'll have to cope with that, but uh, uh, I'll show you what symbols are available and how we can set it up. So, first of all, go to Menu Options, so mouse up to Menu Options and select Set Drum Map and click on that left button, one click, zap, there we go, right. It looks very complicated, but it's actually quite straightforward. Now, first of all, set the octave bass note. Now, the two notes that I used there were actually C2 and C sharp 2. So the octave bass note is actually going to be C2. So I change that to C2. There we go. That now means this octave that we're looking at here starts at C2 and up to B2, etc. Now, let's just take the bottom C note for the moment. What this tells us here is that the name of the note is C2. The display currently of that note will be C2. It'll be a note head symbol. There we go. Um, and don't worry about voice for now. Okay. Now, straight away, I can change the symbol here just by clicking on that there. And we can go through the various options here that are available to us now. I've no idea what a bass drum should be. That one looks quite pretty. We'll do that one. And the snare drum is up on the C sharp 2, so we can change that note symbol to something else. Let's have something like... Gosh, that looks pretty good. Let's have that one. Now, if I wanted to, uh, under the display feature there and there, I can just could display the notes as something else, like on an F, for example, uh, or, an, or a G, whatever is, is um, most useful for your player. Um, I'll leave them set for C-sharp 2 and C2 for now. Down the bottom here, just a couple of things. Force horizontal beams and display drum, cle drum clef. If I click on drum clef, it disappears and goes into light grey. That means it's switched off. Um, if it's black, it's on which means it will display a drum clef as opposed to the uh, bass clef we've already selected there. And then horizontal beams. Force horizontal beams basically means that the beaming on the notes, that's the bit that joins the notes together at the top, the line joining it, are made to come out horizontal and not angled at all if there's any movement around in those. So you can have that on or off depending whether or not you want to do that. So click on OK. Now it still hasn't changed them yet. Uh, there's one more thing we've got to do. Press X again to call up that little box, and we can see there it says mapped drum. Just simply click in that box. There we go. Tick appears, and we can see straight away on the score that notation we've set up now comes out. One other thing you can do also as well, you can have single line rhythm notation. You click in there, which looks like that. Incidentally, these uh, key presses I've been doing with the letter X are just a short key cut before going to menu edit, parameter mode. Let's click on that, see that little box comes up the same. But as we know, it's a lot quicker just to press a button. Another point here, see exit here, it's got a thick black line around it. Remember we discussed this earlier? It's got a thick black line, you can use return, so you just press the return button to get rid of that box. Fine, so there's our drum part looking a little better than it did before. So let's go back to the main page by pressing E again. There we are. And click on the voice part. Let's have a look at this. So click on voice and E for edit. <laughs> 